Shein is one of the biggest fashion retailers in the world that got popular during the pandemic. Yet the company is full of mystery and controversies. Today we will explore these controversies and see how Shein risen to the top and beat giants like Zara and H&M at their own game. In 2022, they had a valuation of $100 billion and they control over 40% of the US market. Last year, they had a revenue of $33 billion. Shein is like Amazon for fashion. It's the most visited fashion site in the world. You order and they ship to you directly. It's famous for being very cheap. Shein is the most talked about fashion retailer on social media. Hashtags like Shein Hall has 15.5 billion views and Shein has 87.5 billion views on TikTok. If you search Shein Hall on Instagram, there are 816,000 posts. They collaborated with celebrities like Katy Perry and Lil Nas X. Not much is known about Shein. They are really mysterious. People don't even know what's the name of their founder. Some sources say Chris Shu, some say Sky Shu, and some say Shu Yangtian. But let's call him Chris, because Forbes calls him Chris. He is a search engine optimization specialist and an expert in export. The company was started in 2008. Even their first name was a mystery. Some sources say it was named SSKKO, and others say it was named Nanjing Dianwei. But their business was selling products to other countries in the world. In 2012, they rebranded and picked a niche. They started selling wedding dresses and some other women items. The name was changed to She Inside, which would be in a few years changed to Shein because it's shorter and more catchy. They don't like to talk to anybody and, as I said a few times, they are really mysterious. If you wanna know how your package got to you, even if you research it, you wouldn't be able to find it. Yet they still became a fashion giant in a few years. But how they did it is really interesting and full of controversies. Social media is full of Shein's haul. That's basically our review of products that people bought. As I said, Shein has billions of views on social media, and that gives Shein many benefits. Firstly, they earned profit from the person that bought the item. Then the same person promoted it to social media, giving them free marketing and encouraging other people to buy from Shein. Maybe the same item, maybe some other item. The Shein website is made so that you have endless scrolling. It's like TikTok. There is no end. There are over half a million products currently on the site. Shein has 1,000 new arrivals each day, and they have over 6,000 manufacturers. On Shein, there is something for everyone. When you enter their site, you are bombarded with pleasurable-looking website and bombarded with discount codes that you need to put your email there to get them. Once Shein has you, they never let you go. Also, they monitor customer behavior on the site. Shein doesn't order in bulk and in advance. When you browse an item, look at the picture, add it to cart, Shein takes notes, then it creates new designs based on popular items. This is called on-demand model. They target mostly women. Reports say that the average Shein shopper spends $100 per month on women's clothing. They overtook giants like H&M and Zara who are famous for fast fashion. Zara and H&M need about a month from designing the product to be on the shelves in the stores. Shein revolutionized this and the term is now called ultra fast fashion in which Shein needs less than a week to design an item and put it on sale. But Shein wants more, they want to be even bigger. They want to become a publicly traded company in the US, seeking a valuation of $90 billion. If they get on the US stock exchange, they will get a lot of brand recognition and tons of money. That's not easy for them because they have a lot of controversies. Recently, they had a data breach that affected 39 million users. Shein has 6,000 suppliers and all in China, a country that is famous for its war conditions. The BBC found out that these suppliers make people work 126 hours a week with no days off. That's 18 hours per day. If they mess something up, they get penalties. It was discovered that Shein workers are not on the social welfare system, which means they have no rights and guarantees. Shein said that they spent $15 million to improve the standards and that they never used forced labor. While having so many suppliers, it's hard to keep track of them. That's why Shein got in trouble for making offensive items. For example, the Austrian painter's favorite symbol, and they labeled the Islamic prayer mats as fringe trim. The US banned getting goods from China's region of Xinjiang because of human rights violations against an ethnic group there. 
it's estimated that Sheen gets cotton from there. They say they don't, but that can't be confirmed. Sheen has a lot of suppliers and the suppliers are very secretive too and nobody knows their location. Because they need to make new designs fast, sometimes they steal ideas from bigger designers, sometimes from smaller designers. The smaller designers can't sue them because they can't go to court with a multi-billion dollar company. Zara was also accused of stealing designs. Guess this is normal in fast fashion. But in some of Shein's clothes, a lot of dangerous chemicals have been found that are definitely not safe. Fast fashion is about cheap clothing. You don't pay so much, but it's not built to last a long time. Customers threw out old clothes to buy new clothes. Their products are 50% cheaper than their main competitors, but the quality is really bad. It's really bad for the environment because it creates a ton of waste. China produces 20 million of tons of fashion waste. But I think that they won't let them to become a publicly traded company in the US because Shein doesn't pay taxes. That's right. Shein ships directly to the customers, not a store. If you ship a large amount of items, you need to pay tax. Large amount of items are items worth over $800. It's really hard to spend that amount of money on one order on Shein. So what are they doing to achieve their main goal to become a publicly traded company in the US? Firstly, as a Chinese company, it's really hard to go public in the US stock exchange. So they moved the headquarters to Singapore. Then they invested millions in factories to improve the conditions. In 2022, they had a valuation of $100 billion. In 2023, that dropped by a third. That's probably because in 2022, they owned 40% of the US market and were in 220 countries. Then Timu overtook a larger share in the market in last June of 2023. And they launched in September of 2022. Timu is a company like Shein. Same business model and really controversial. Funny thing is that they are constantly suing each other. Shein is adding new manufacturers in new countries like Brazil and Turkey, but the majority is still in China. They promised to invest $150 million to train 2,000 Brazilian manufacturers. Shein bought one-third of the Spark Group, the operator of Forever 21, Brooks Brothers, Reebok and so on. They also added the possibility that third-party manufacturers can sell directly to customers. Shein is still world's leading fashion platform. During the lockdown, when Shein strived, Zara closed 120 stores, and in 2021, they were more downloaded than Amazon. The question is, what will happen with Shein? If they go public, of course, they're gonna be a larger and a better company. But what happens if they don't? With Shein, you can get full trendy from head to toe for cheap. Their marketing strategy is basically, you see something awesome that's cheap and you get that. Then just repeat that and boom, you spend half of your salary. Opinions on Shein are really mixed. I went on Reddit to find out what people think and always there will be a bigger majority, but this time it was mixed. I asked my friends what they think about Shein and it was also mixed. When I searched for reviews on their site, the reviews were about sizes, too small, too big, perfect size. I never ordered from Shein because I shop really rarely and when I do, I will pay a little bit more if the product is higher quality and will serve me more. But I wanna know your opinion on Shein. What do you think? Tell me in the comments. Also subscribe if you love business model breakdowns and entrepreneurial success stories. There is a bunch of them on the channel.